This win caps off one of the most anticipated opening days, possibly in the franchise's history. Horace Holmes is outside the Nets Park tonight. Uh, he's out there with fans who couldn't wait to soak it all in. Horace. Leon, expectations, expectations. It seems like everybody in Nats country seems to think that this team is going to go all the way and win the World Series. Well, the first step on that long road began today, and everyone walked away very happy. The sun came out, the temperatures warmed, and more than 40,000 brought their excitement to Nationals Park for opening day. It's like coming back to church. Yeah, this is our cathedral this is, this right is here. It, this is our cathedral. <laughs> you got to have some attitude, and it's opening day. From those who are attending their very first opening day game. I really don't remember my first opening day. I was probably about her size. Yeah. And uh, we're excited to have a good team to cheer for this year. To those who have seen more than their share, this opener and the entire season for that matter arguably carries the highest expectations for any team that has played baseball here in Washington. Had a great season last year. I hope we can build off of what we started on last year. This year's team is picked by experts to go to the World Series, and fans are expecting nothing less. The World Series are bust. They are here looking forward to start a new season of memories to last a lifetime. Matt Raddick and Ty Glover have been to every Nats home opener. Every year, us too. It's our tradition. And next year, no. Next year, we're going off to college, so yeah. making the most out of this one. Oh, yeah. Peanuts in. And once the big crowd filed in and settled into their seats, the Nationals gave their fans plenty to cheer for and lots of hope that the best is yet to come. Pretty good way to start, huh? It looks like it's going to be a very tough ticket to come out here and see the Nets this season. They're off tomorrow. They play again. Continue this series Wednesday night at 7.05. Reporting live in Nats Stadium, Horace Holmes, ABC 7 News. All right, thanks, Horace.